Same weekend as the Belmont Stakes, the final leg of the Triple Crown in New York. Two more horses die at the Santa Anita racetrack in Southern California, one of them collapsing after running in the triple digit heat there. The racetrack made headlines at the beginning of the year when 20 horses died from January to March. Three months, 20 dead. And so far this year, 29 horses have died at Santa Anita. Our Kristen Goodwillie has been looking deeper into this issue and also talking with the one expert on this who happens to be here in Kentucky. That's right, Doug. The California Horse Racing Board, along with the U.S. Senator, are calling for the racetrack to suspend its meet. Santa Anita works with 13 other tracks in the country to come up with best practices for maintaining tracks and making sure horses are safe. I spoke with a U.K. professor about how his research directly helped each track. Training, track, breeding, medications, and climate. The thing to remember about um, risk for horses is it's uh, multifactorial. This is Michael Peterson. I go by Mick. I'm a uh, professor of biosystems and agricultural engineering, and I'm director of the Ag Equine Programs at the University of Kentucky. He provides information to the 14 tracks like Santa Anita that are committed to safety. They're all part of a maintenance quality system. I mean, what are you guys talking about when you hear of this? Is this something that is a big deal or no? Oh, it's absolutely a big deal. He says the 17 inches of rain that Santa Anita saw between January to March was definitely a risk factor. The track is really designed to uh, handle those uh, dry periods. The number rising to 29 horse deaths in Santa Anita. Each death brings a team of experts who try and find out what went wrong. So at that point, my contribution was giving them weather information and track information and maintenance information and also comparing that to previous years. The last two deaths don't appear to be track related, but Peterson will still contribute the track information he's gathered. We need to understand what the risk to the horse is, but that takes a huge amount of data, but for right now, we're just looking for anomalies that we can eliminate. Peterson says it's not just one problem. You know, this recent issues in uh, at Santa Anita, it just, you know, it just makes you wonder if we can move fast enough. So they collect data from experts around the country, weighing in if a catastrophic death happens at one of these tracks. By protecting the horses, we're, we're protecting the industry and, you know, just doing the right thing. One of the most surprising things that we learned today is that a total of 29 deaths on Santa Anita's racetrack is actually a pretty low number compared to other years. Get this, we did some digging going back to 2015. It's a shock. 39 total deaths in 2015, 57 in 2016, 54 the next year, and 37 the year after that. If this tells us anything, we could see that number increase in the coming months. Doug.